Hey guys, get level here and spooky season is upon us. So I'm going to show you how to display your heart rate on stream. So technically, I already made two videos on the subject. One is completely outdated and the second one is just too long. And I was discovering things. Now that I know everything, I'm trying to make a video that is short and simple. OK, so in order to display your heart rate on a live stream, you need two things. You need a device, the actual heart rate monitor and then you'll need a software so in this case it's going to be an app that's going to go through your phone am i actually lagging that would be so annoying now a good company that provides this service meaning an app plus the widgets for specifically made for streaming is pulsoid so you go to pulsoid.net and technically you'll have all the instructions there so as you can see here service is free for basic usage so that means that apart from the device you technically are not going to have to spend a lot of money to do this so basic thing what do i need uh, the heart rate monitor, they give you a couple of examples. The Cuspo H6 is the one that I have. So that's the one that I'm going to be demonstrating this with. Uh, also happens to be the cheapest. It's kind of like there's a pattern on this channel. And then the mobile app, which is Pulsoid, which is available both on Android and on app, Apple, iOS, uh, whatever iPhone users call it. iOS, there you go. <laughs> And then you're going to have to make an account on Pulsoid.net. This is the Cuspo H6. This is another example, the wow ticker. Um, the Cuspo, I have it with a strap that goes on my chest. So we're going to use a chest one. But there are some armband basically available ones, wristbands, which is something that I'm thinking about investing in in the future. They also have this article that explains pretty much everything. OK, so I already created my account, so I'm just going to log in. Technically, nothing is plugged in. Nothing is done yet. So so this is what it looks like from uh, the web page, basically. It gives you the status if it's offline, what's going on and everything, the average value, blah, blah, blah. But it also gives you a couple of stats. So if you're using this for, I don't know, other purposes than just live streaming, it, it's good to see how high your heart went once. <laughs> So basically, when you open up the app, it's going to ask you to log in. Of course, I don't need to show you how to log in. You just put your email and your password in. And then it's going to be this very, very simple screen where basically if you have your Bluetooth, it's going to ask you a bunch of permissions basically to turn on your Bluetooth so it can uh, connect to whatever device you're using and uh, and so it can display. Once you find your device, basically do not click on it. Basically, if I go to Bluetooth here and I tap you don't need to um, actually click on it or pair it. Just have your Bluetooth on and then go to the Pulsoid app and find it should be called Cuspo H6, basically the name of whatever device you're using. And then you will just click on it. So the Cuspo comes with this uh, strap. Basically, this is where the actual heart rate monitor is going to go. Uh, it's right there and goes around your chest. I put it under my pecs, if you will. And uh, this is the actual heart monitor. Um, and behind it, you'll see that there is a battery. So always make sure that your battery is not completely dead. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Funny thing that I should say that because I don't know if this battery works. I, it's been in there for like months and I haven't used it in months. So we'll find out. So one thing that they said on the box for the Cuspo is that you need to moisten the little prongs. So we're just going to get this video demonetized and then we're going to put it on. <laughs> it does ask you to put the logo facing like the right side. So it's not upside down. Once it's on your chest, the logo is in the right side. So we just put it on and this is what it looks like. It's just this little thing. And then you're just going to put it around your chest. Take off that little notch. Up. It is adjustable. Whatever size your chest is, is going to uh, adapt to you. Basically, you can make it adapt. Basically, you can adjust it. So right in the middle underneath my packs is where I usually put it. I would love to give you more precise instructions, but I think I lost the the, the original box. Uh, but if you buy it, you're, it's going to come with instructions. OK, so now now that I have it on, I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth on my phone and turn it back on until it finds it, basically. Or you can go to option and then scan. And as you can see here, there's uh, Cuspo H6 and then a bunch of numbers. So I'm going to go and do that. And now it says Pulsoid connection to Bluetooth and all of that, all of that, all of that. OK, and now I have my cool thing is that it also displays the, the little latency. So if there's a problem, a connection problem, it you'll also see that the, the milliseconds. Now that you have this on your phone, how do you display it on stream? So let's go ahead and open up Streamlabs OBS and uh, and find our widget link because it's just the link that you need from the website now. As you can see now on the website, since I'm connected, it's going to show me the actual status. So it shows me that it's online. Everything is working, blah, blah, blah. Now, configuration is where you want to go right here. You can see all the types of display that you can get. So when your heart is going very, very 
high you can put like even the doom thing you can put that little uh electrocardiogram anything that you choose to to show basically you can even show like the actual heartbeat which is very weird but that's the thing that you can do we're gonna go with the basics we're gonna click configure and you have all the options you can actually uh edit them and make them look better or even match your color scheme if you're streaming but the important thing that you can do here is to find the link to the widget and it's the first link right there so we're gonna right click and copy this link okay so here we are on streamlabs obs oh look at that that's the eso overlay pack it's completely free you can get it at gumroad.com get level Anyways, let's go to the intermission screen because this that's where my face is. And now we're just going to click plus, click browser source, browser source, add source, call it whatever you want. We're going to keep it browser source. And then here where it says URL, this is where I'm going to paste the link. Just control V. Click done. And guess what? Here's your heart rate in real time, kind of. <laughs> so you can just place it wherever you want. Remember that if you want to configure it, it can be uh, configured from the website right there. How do I do it on OBS Studio? Exactly the same thing. You click the plus, you go to, where's it go? Browser. Okay. Control V on the URL. And there it is. Easy clap. So I'm not going to lie. Using the Kuspo, which is the cheapest option I could possibly find, I've had a little bit of problems. I had some times where it just wasn't accurate. Usually if you fix it on your chest a little bit better, it, it, it works out. So keep that in mind when deciding which ones are better. And if another similar content creator has more money than me, feel free to buy every single one and test them and compare them. See which one is more accurate. But for now, I'm going to stick with this one. If you guys are playing horror games, it's really cool to have your heart rate being displayed. If you guys get scared by your own own alerts, just like I do all the time, it's always super cool to have your heart rate displaying on stream. And remember, you can customize it, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to leave with a question for you. Which horror game is your favorite horror game? Or just which game are you going to be playing during the Halloween season? Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me everywhere. If you're looking for some dope overlays, there's a bunch of new free packs on gumroad.com slash level. Do not miss them. And if you're wondering uh, what camera I'm using, what mic, or what lights, uh, there will be Amazon affiliate links in the description. So check them out. If you're not using Streamlabs OBS, same thing. Link in the description. There will also be a link to the uh, heart rate monitor that I'm using in the description, an affiliate link. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Go out there, make me proud, get spooky, <laughs> get level out. <laughs>